We like to start off every show with what we call a moment in time, where I take Rashid Wallace back to a date in history, and I ask him, what on earth could you have possibly been doing on this day? Some are obvious, some are not, some are in between, and Sheed, you will not get this one, but we can put the pieces together. So the date is going to be December 26th. It's the day after Christmas, 2006. So you know what the team is, and you know it's regular season. Um, I think 2006, the day after Christmas, was it? Either we played San Antonio on Christmas, or it might have been that day after Christmas. One of the so, two. Okay, so you're playing the New Jersey Nets on this day, actually. Ah, okay. And I found a video where poor Jason Maxiel is a rookie in the NBA, and he's trying to give an interview to Fox Sports Detroit over here. And you will quickly see that in the background, Rasheed Wallace is looking for basketballs. Now, why would Rasheed Wallace be looking for basketballs? Because he starts throwing them full speed at Jason Maxiel during this interview that lasts almost 90 <laughs> seconds. And y'all are pummeling him this poor, is this how we hazed rookies back in the day? Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, yo. Hey, yo, that was hilarious, dog. That was hilarious. <laughs> Look, so, so what it was, you know, of course, it was the rookie thing. And I think Max was playing pretty good uh, for the last few games. And so, <laughs> you know, he had a little pregame interview. So we was just messing with him, just fucking with him, throwing the balls at him to see if he can keep his concentration during the interview. So it worked for a second, but, oh, man, that shit was hilarious, though. That's my guy, though. Jason Maxfield, that's my guy. They, they bring up a good point here because here's we're about to watch the angle where all y'all are winding up at the same time simultaneously. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> all three. <laughs> just getting drilled. And they bring up a good point. Like, Tayshawn's laughing it up. There's and there's Dice <laughs> laughing it up. Is that Lindsey Hunter? I, I can't tell, yeah, but Lindsay. it look, looked like Lindsey. You guys are just having a blast over here. And I guess when, when things are going well, you can mess around with each other like that. And uh, yeah. that's just good chemistry. So a day a day in time. Whose idea was that, by the way? Was that you who took the first I, no, ball it, it and just, then everyone else followed suit? You seem like the troublemaker. Yeah. I am. I was. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> See, I even tried to warn him. No, I yelled out. I yelled to him, watch out, Max. You know? <laughs> well, no, he's kind of doing an it interview, she. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It was this, funny, was though, this, I mean, that's my guy. Yeah, so 2006. I mean, what did you guys have rookies do for, as a part of, like, the hazing? Because now it's – they buy Chick-fil-A um, for, the, for the whole plane, you know, when you go on a road trip or – um, sometimes they fill their cars with popcorn and stuff like that. But has hazing changed at all? Is it always playful, or did you have these guys? You told the story about going to the uh, going to the mall, and uh, someone had to like buy a television for a player. Mm -hmm. But has it calmed down a little bit nowadays since then, or is it just? Um, no, it's, it's still the same. But but see, the thing was, it never was real bad. Like like the veterans never really sat up there and really tried to just, you know, go at it as far as like, hey, you do this, you do this, you buy this, you buy this. It was like, all right, they, they really felt you out. And it was like, they only asked you once or twice to test your character. So like, if you know, if you down with it, you do it, then no problem. But if you don't do it, then, you know, you're going to get a little, a little resentment from the veterans. Right. So um, like, okay, for instance, uh, with Jermaine O'Neal. When Jermaine O'Neal was my rookie uh, when I was in Portland. And just as you mentioned, he had a, ooh, he had a nice brand new Suburban. It was an extra long body. It was clean. It was green. It was nice. Had some nice rims on that joint. It was dope. So what we did one day, uh, with him being a rookie, he had to come to the arena. I mean, excuse me, to the practice facility early. So when he came to the practice facility, his keys is already there. So he's in a gym. He's in a weight room doing this thing. And what we do, I take like six giant bags, like the, the value bag of popcorn from the arena, right? And boom, we stuff his car full of fucking pop. Open the sunroof, stuff his car full of motherfucking popcorn. And then crack the window a little bit so we could close the sunroof. Of course, birds and rain won't get it, but left it there. So then, you know, after practice, so 
he go out to the car, so we all out the window like this. We all looking out the window. <laughs> as soon as he opened up the door, it wasn't nothing but a heap of damn popcorn that came out. He's like, man, what the fuck? Oh, he was he was hot for a second, but he laughed it off. He had to end up selling his car, though. He's like, man, I can't get the popcorn smell out of my car. <laughs> oh, shit. So, it was, it was fun. We did, you know, just do little fun things like that. Um, when I was in Detroit, I taped a rookie to a to a um, to a chair, and <laughs> we rolled the chair into the shower, and so he was getting wet, and we dumped ice in his lap. Then we rolled him out on the floor in front of the uh, news media and everybody. Oh, the shit was hilarious, though. Like, like you know, we never we never did. Uh, you know, nothing real, real serious or like really embarrassing to the rookies, though. But it's all to test your character. Hey!